Program Director of Arab Board of Clinical Pathology and Member of Scientific Council of Egyptian Fellowship Board of Clinical Pathology. If you feel overwhelmed or unready yet to submit your project for the ASU Mina Fry, then this is a sort of a questions and answers interview with an eminent ASU Mina Fry faculty member. We guide you through the application process and we navigate with you all the challenges facing you to develop a successful accepted ASU Mina Fry project. Dr. Helen Wakil, an eminent professor of medical parasitology at Shams University, and Famer Fellow 2019 and an eminent ASU Mina Fry, a faculty member. So please, Dr. Hen, thank you so much for accepting to be here today and to mentor us and to guide us through the application process. Thank you. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Dr. Dina, for uh, your nice words. And I am so happy and pleasure to be with you today. And I hope that I can clarify any inquiries uh, uh, regarding the application to the ASU ASU Minafry. احنا بنعمل لقاء تعريفي دلوقتي علشان نعمل اسورت اوف منتورنج لحضراتكم عن طريق دكتور هيلر وكيل ازاي هتقدروا تعملوا ابلكيشن ا سكسسفول ابلكيشن فور ذا ASU Minafry بروجكت هنرد للاسئله الكومن اللي بتتسال من حضراتكم وهنساعدكم ان شاء الله فور سكسسفول ابلكيشن. So may I jump into the first question. Dr. Hela, where do I start to create a successful educational project? I'm overwhelmed and I'm confused and I have a lot of ideas. Uh, as we know, uh, ASU Minifry is a project-based program. Uh, you will apply, you will write your proposal and try throughout the two years of the fellowship to achieve your dreams. The steps of writing the proposal of an educational uh, program or project is like that of any research work. That means the first step is to search in the literature. Recent literature, يعني السنة أو سنتين فاتوا, not more than that, to find a an interesting topic, an interesting topic, and uh, that can be uh, doable in your institute. The second step is research in the literature about this topic concerning the data in the literature about this topic, the intervention to and the result of the intervention regarding this topic. Uh, the, the most important point, the gap in the literature concerning this topic. From this gap, you can find your aim to fill this gap. And that's, these are the main steps to write a proposal for an educational work. This is great. So all I have to do is just searching for the gap and this will answer the question. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Then during the application process, it requires a nomination letter. Just click the nomination letter request and you just add the name and the email of the dean or the ASU Minifry faculty member who will nominate you. And Can I add what, one word, Dr. Yes, Zina? Uh, regarding all the administration issue, uh, you can call Ms. Hamza. She is so helpful and can help you in all these steps. And the phone number and everything will be added to this session. Yes. Okay. What about the reference letter? Uh, the same. So you can uh, request a reference letter and send automatically or you can request a hard copy from Hamza and uh, write it uh, as a hard copy. This is great. Thank you, Dr. Hela. Okay, this is really good. Can I apply using my regularly used mail or uh, should I apply using my official mail? What's your like? All are acceptable. This is Gmail, great. Hotmail, uh, official mail, all are acceptable. This is great. You have sim simplified the process. Yes, it is so simple. This is really good. So simple. 
Thus, the innovation education project means that this project has never been discussed before and it should entail a sophisticated IT? No. No, I do You, as a change agent in your institute, uh, you may find an interesting idea in the literature. For example, you find a new teaching method and you want to apply it in your institute. You find uh, in the literature that this method it will increase the student engagement and you have a problem in your institute regarding this issue. So adopt this idea and start to implement it write your proposal with some modification in this uh, idea to fulfill the unmet need in your institute. So it depends uh, on the, the current situation in your institute and the desirable outcome that you need to reach. Any, any idea uh, regarding the need of your institute, you can apply it in your institute. So simply you can modify one of the data collection methods. You can modify the uh, uh, study design, okay? But we, please, please take the simplest way to achieve your goal. You can مش محتاجة تعقيدات خالص. كل ما كان المشروع أو البروجكت سهل، كل ما قدرنا نحققه في السنة الأولى وفي السنة الثانية. ونقدر نطلع بجول achievable and so helpful and fulfill the unmet need of my institute. This is great. يعني اللي فهمته من حضرتك ان انا هدور على need to change. كاني بشوف براكتس حاسه ان ناقص حاجه وعايزه اغيره واحسنه وده هيكون فكره المشروع. بالظبط. بس ممكن ممكن اطبق مشروع فعلا موجود في الليترشر. مش ضروري اعقده، مش ضروري الاقي حاجه فكره مش موجوده، لا ممكن اشوف فكره موجوده وانا باجي اطبقها في الانستتيوت بتاعي اعمل فيها سام سكول موديفيكيشن شايفه انها ممكن تفيد الانستتيوت بتاعي اكتر. How can I describe the need for intervention? Does need the assessment survey solve this problem or why? Okay, uh, as I said, Dr. Zid, uh, you will find your aim. According to the current situation in your institute and the desired uh, outcome, I can detect the current situation from students' feedback, faculty feedback, needs assessment, as you said, uh, from uh, any uh, article related to my uh, idea, um, uh, uh, a published article related to a community problem if I will work on a community service project. So I can, between the current situation and the desired outcome, I must do some intervention to achieve my goal. These are the intervention, the methodology. زي ما احنا متعوزين في ال في research time. This is the intervention is the methodology to achieve the goal. Thank you. How to write a good project goal and how many goals should I include in the project proposal? Okay. The goal must be small. What is meant by small? Small, specific, to the point. Measurable. مش حاجة أقعد أعملها سنين. Measurable. Achievable. حاجة في الوجود مش في السماء. Um, uh, realistic حقيقي ممكن يكون مشروع حلو قوي وفكره حلوه قوي بس according to my authority I can't apply it in my institute so no 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 and time out اقدر اخلصه في السنه او السنتين بتوع الفنش this is my goal and one achievable goal in for the first year and another achievable goal for the second year are more than This is really good to have simplified it again. Yes. Thank you. Example, how I will respond to questions about the project description briefly. Okay. I'll give you a common example. 
from the real life. I think that all of us want to reach the goal of healthy lifestyle. Right? Sure. So, uh, the uh, ultimate goal is healthy lifestyle. The current situation is overweight, with diabetes, with hypertension. So, the outcome is, or the desired outcome is reducing weight. And the output or the intervention is that let me reach my goal is uh, go to gym, uh, go running, uh, reduce, uh, eat more vegetables, etc. So let's agree that there is a great difference between the outcomes and the output or the intervention. The outcomes is what will change after my implementation of my project. إيه اللي هيتغير بعد ما طبق البروجكت بتاعي؟ التغيير دي may be in the person, the student, the faculty, the organization, the surrounding community, or maybe the change in the attitude, the knowledge gained, the skills. Okay. This is the outcomes. إيه اللي هيتغير بعد ما نطبق المشروع بتاعي؟ To reach this outcome, I must do some intervention, some output. So, uh, uh, these are the outcomes and the intervention. The second issue is, I think, the... Um, uh, so, I, I, as I said, to achieve the desired outcome, you have to do some intervention. What about the team, your team? Or in another word, the stakeholders. According to the um, uh, required intervention or the required task, you will uh, write your team or stakeholder who will help you to do this intervention. Stakeholders may be uh, your the fellow, uh, famous fellow, uh, your colleague in the department, uh, one of the NGO, a community member. So we'll detect your team according to the required intervention. Okay. Um, um, and in uh, according to my experience. Uh, uh, many, many of the fellow, famer fellow, uh, did a drastic, drastic change in their proposal after attending the residential study. So all this information will be more clear after attending the residential session. In, in, in the residential session, we will be as fellow from different um, disciplines, from different departments, from different countries. We will share our experience. We will, as regards the stakeholders or the team, you will, uh, what's meant by stakeholder or team member? Uh, the team are uh, those members that help you to do the intervention. So after creating the intervention, we will detect your team. Stakeholder may be a famous fellow, may be uh, your colleague in the department, uh, community members, uh, one of the NGO, uh, non-government organization. These are the stakeholders uh, or your team in the project. Uh, and I want to uh, say that all these steps will be more clear after atten attending the residential session. And I know many of the fellow that did a drastic change in their project after attending the residential session. So please take the easiest way to reach your dream. نسهل خالص على روحنا. في انا افتكر في 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 الباتش بتاعتي كانوا ناس داخلين a very sophisticated project. 
with multiple goals, with many interventions. And Isagaru, Isagaru, we simplify, simplify. علشان يقدر يحقق هذا الجول in one year. So I can change after attending the residential session. طبعا. Okay, this is great. طبعا. Okay. There are a lot of fellow. The curricular design, the community service, the study design, the different study design, the different uh, data collection methods, okay, the different analysis methods. They change. They change the topic of the their project. So wait till you attend the residential session. This is great. Okay. okay. How to create a practical project timeline? Okay. Uh, the timeline is the gain chart of any project. The, the timeline is when you the your tasks or your intervention will complete during the first or the second year. So to do a Gantt chart or the timeline, in a table form, we will write the tasks, and in front of each task, we will highlight the time that I desire or I plan to do this task. So, so simple. This, this is, is a Gantt chart of yeah. any uh, project. And how to, to address the project feasibility? The feasibility, you will write the expected output and outcome that will be achieved during the first and the second year. Okay, and it should be feasible, definitely, and achievable. Yes, yes, please. Uh, uh, through your authority, you can do this in your institute. Okay, and how to develop a budget plan? We are not experts regarding the manuals. <laughs> okay, the manuals. The budget will be detected according to the intervention. You will detect how you will spend to do this intervention. Uh, many of the intervention not need a lot of money. Okay? I'm expecting. Yes, yes, yes. غير لو انت هتشتغلي في community service program. I need a health education program. I need uh, many uh, printed brochure. Uh, and one of the output of many projects is to find a funding agent to support your project. If you uh, say, uh, you see that your project needs a lot of money. Sure. Great. Okay, how can I perform an ideal project evaluation? Yes. To evaluate your project, you have to detect an indicator. What's meant by indicator? It's a main measure, a main to measure your uh, achievement okay. in your project. El mastara el hanis biha el achievement btaati. Ana aqdar aamil adi min el project btaati. Kol shbaya lazim yba fi indicator to detect. My achievement to evaluate my project <coughs> to know or to determine to determine this indicator, I have to do my study design to choose my design. Is it uh, experimental? It is exploratory. Okay. Then I choose the participant in my uh, uh, other students, faculty, community member. Then detect or determine the method of data collection. I, how I can collect my data? By survey, questionnaire, focus group. Then I will analyze my data to detect my evaluation. This is the indicator of my project. The master that is on it. And at the time I had it, the project began. I had it. How it began. Will 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 data have a collection of say? Okay. According to this data, how is that? And from the beginning, even the indicator of me, I am, for example, I will implement a workshop for the residents to increase the skills of, say, basic life support. Okay. So my indicator is at the end of this course, 
50% or 60% of the attendee will be expert in doing basal massage. After doing the workshop and do my evaluation according to a checklist. If I reach the 60%, so I success in my project. If I not, I have to repeat my workshop. This is the indicator. This is great. Are you going to teach us how to select and monitor the indicator during the residential session? Definitely. This is Definitely. great. This is very important topic. Definitely. Definitely. Great. How to write a realistic impact of my project without exaggeration because okay. I'm definitely going to be biased to my project. Okay. The impact is the ultimate change that, that the intervention seeks to achieve. It ties in, and mainly this impact uh, will be uh, a change in the health of the parents. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, for example, my uh, project is about implementation of basic life support course to the first year student uh, in the physiology curriculum. So I will expose my student from the first year, okay. aiming to increase the skills of the basic life support. So my impact is the improve the life support in cardiac arrest. This is my impact. And I want to help the children two years from the basic life support. When they are graduate, they are skillful in basic life support عشان ايه؟ علشان احسن ال ال الكارديك ان انا انقذ الناس في الكارديك بس فذيس از ذا امبكت ذا ارتمت تشينج ذات اي سيك تو ريتش افتر امبلمنتيشن اوف ماي ريسيرش ورك اور ماي بروجكت Thank you so much, Dr. Hela. You have answered all the questions. Okay. Thank you so much. And at the end, stop holding yourself back and feel confident to apply now immediately. All the contact information will be available in this mentoring interview to support you and to guide you through the application process. Thank you. This was part one of the mentoring sessions for an easy application of your ASU Mina Fry project. What would be part two, Dr. Harry? Okay, what about you can apply your project uh, lively wow. on the table and we can show all the audience uh, step by step and I'll mentor you upon applying your project. This is what great. about this idea? This is a great idea. I'm extremely enthusiastic. Okay. So please stop holding yourself back. We will guide you step by step. So let's go for this and you will achieve your goal and you will be definitely an ASU Minifry member waiting for you. Okay. Once familiar, always familiar.